request will be granted without objection. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Nebraska. Mr. Speaker, I ask for unanimous consent to submit an excerpt from the 2021 Biden administration proposal called the American Families Plan Tax Compliance Agenda that asks for $80 billion in IRS funding and clearly shows a plan for 86,852 new hires. Without objection. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I now yield one minute to the gentleman from North Carolina, a member of the Ways and Means Committee, Dr. Murphy. The gentleman thank from North Carolina is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise today, and I thank the gentleman from Nebraska, I rise today in support of the Family Small Business Taxpayer Protection Act, one of the first legislative acts of the new Republican majority. Main Street America has suffered two years too many of Democrat one-party rule. Inflation continues to hover at record highs, and small businesses continue to struggle. The last thing that these small businesses can afford right now is 87,000 new IRS agents not only targeting their enterprises, but targeting their livelihoods. With 11 million tax returns still awaiting IRS action, the IRS should be focusing on doing their job rather than weaponizing their agency. This isn't new. The Democrats have used IRS and the tax code as a weapon before and are attempting to do it again. The Family and Small Business Protection, uh, Taxpayer Protection Act rescinds new IRS funding intended to target middle class families. This cannot wait. I urge passes of this bill so our small businesses can thrive absent any fear of IRS agents knocking at their door. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.